anybody tell me what's wrong with this pitcher? Yeah, um, I noticed that my stag, my 3G was, it was kind of jamming, it wasn't wanting to cycle, and I fired a few rounds from it, and just didn't want to cycle, it, it wasn't wanting to go into battery, and I thought it was just my reloads, that, you know, maybe I didn't get them uh, sized properly, and so I stopped firing, and uh, I just went ahead and I, I was actually going to, I don't, hell, I don't even remember what I was going to do, but I went to try and cycle it, and I could hardly get the uh, charging handle. I could hardly cycle it. It wasn't even around in the chamber. And uh, so I went ahead and pulled out the bolt carrier group, and I noticed the cam pin, it was, it was sitting, it was indexed improperly within the bolt carrier. Right off the bat, I knew something was wrong. I expected the firing pin to be bent or broken, I didn't expect the pin, it's, uh, the uh, cam pin, to be broken. Um, best I can tell, the firing pin is in tip-top shape. But my bolt cam pin is broken, and uh, everything was obviously prop pro properly lubed, uh, taken care of, and so the only and you can see as evidence, let's see, as evidence with this, see a chip missing? That tells me that this thing was, it was hardened too hard. Whenever this was originally hardened after machining, they either got it too hot initially or Regardless of that, more likely, uh, that's more likely the deal is whenever they uh, drew the temper in it, they didn't get it hot enough. After they had got it, basically what they do, you do to harden something is you get it cherry red, just bright red hot, and uh, then you quench it. Some operations will have you quench in oil, some are in water, some are in brine, which is salt water. Uh, some of them, you just let it cool to room temperature on its own. Uh, either way, you heat it up and then you bring the heat back up to a certain degree for a certain length of time to draw the temper. What that means is whenever you heat it up to where it's cherry red and you quench it, you rapidly cool it, it becomes so hard it's brittle. Unbelievably hard. But it's very brittle. It'll break very easily. So then you bring the um, bring your temperature up again in it fairly slowly uh doesn't really matter that I mean you just don't want to you know flash burn it and uh, you bring it up to a set temperature and you want to keep it at that temperature for uh, a certain period of time depending on <clears throat> sorry I was yawning depending on uh, what you want to do with it if it's going to be something that you really need it to be hard like a file or you want it to be um, a little flexible like a spring you will change your temperature that you bring it up to and temper it to um, the lower the temperature that you bring it the temperature the temper to the harder it will be so if you temper it to 450 degrees it's going to be much harder than if you temper it at 700 degrees uh, I know it may not make sense but um, that's kind of how it works. So anyways, that uh, it broke. It was brittle. Um, shouldn't broke. Shouldn't have broke. And so uh, this is the original STAG equipment. Uh, I have sent an email to STAG uh, with the serial number of the gun because this is a, a, an authentic STAG 3GL. Um, I, this is a rifle I did not build. Um, I couldn't have built it for what they were charging for them at the time.
And so, anyways, that's the deal with it. And uh, we'll see how good their customer service is and uh, go from there. So, um, Stag ought to do pretty good. They, they've done real good by me so far. Um, so, I don't expect to have any issues. The only issue that I expect to possibly have is just getting in touch with them. Just getting someone to notice because everything is so crazy right now and they're so busy doing other things. So, um, like I say, that's just uh, an issue that we're that we're going to try and work through. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and drop in another pin. Uh, I may throw in a chromed pin or, or something like that. Um, just run it, but I'm still going to address it with stag uh, because it's a problem that should be addressed. So anyways, I'll keep you posted. Just wanted to show you guys what can happen. And, uh, you know, it's just a perfect example of if your gun's not doing something right, stop and check it out. The, uh, I'm going to put this part of this video in right behind the part where I explain what the problem is. So you'll just see one consecutive video. Uh, but what this is, this is um, another bolt cam pin for an AR. Uh, this is for my Stag 3G, as you just saw. Um, it broke, and I called them called Stag, or actually I emailed Stag, what, just, uh, I don't know, a few, few days ago. I mean, let's see here. We will just check. Search Stag and see what it says. Stag Arms Customer Service. All right. Uh, their response to my uh, telling them about the cam pin breaking was uh, we had a batch of cam pins that were not up to par, but we didn't catch until some rifles went out. Yours was one, was, was one of them. You know, they had no way of knowing because these cam pins aren't serial numbered or anything. Uh, not a problem, though. We will send you a new one today. Uh, that was on April 4th. And today it is April 8th. So if anyone's tried to even look on Stag Arms website about how busy and backed up they are, I mean, they're, they're talking a year's wait easy on getting a rifle. With all that being said, they got in touch with me within one day of my original email and that they sent out the replacement part, no questions asked. They didn't even ask me for my serial number or anything. They didn't, uh, the guy I talked to, he, or you know, they, they didn't care because they wanted to make sure that a customer of theirs that had a stag rifle was happy. And so that means a lot. I mean, they, they that really, really means a lot. Um, four day turnaround with everything as crazy as it is right now. I think that's that really, really says a lot and means a lot. Um, here's the other one, and these things are extremely hard. They they have to be hardened very, very hard. But that's a that's a catch two too, because the harder you get them, the more brittle they become. And if you get them too hard, you get what happened to mine, and they they break. I'm just lucky that it didn't tear out my firing pin or anything else. Uh, caught it in time before it did. So, uh, anyways, that's uh, that's the deal with that. Here's the new one, and uh, I'll get it put in, and we'll do some shooting.